just flew into Denver, Colorado. And uh, we're gonna make our way up to Pikes Peak. At some point, I gotta find Dave. Ranch life just hasn't been treating him good lately. Oh my God. Dave! <laughs> one nap, one nap from Merck. Dude, we're supposed to go to Pikes Peak. Like, you no know, ranch life is, wow. is rough, but it's... make yourself a little bit more presentable. All right. Can you hold that for now? You got it? No, I'm good. You all right? Yeah. Yeah, well. Oh, wow. I'm kind of downwind. <laughs> I've been saving this up since Christmas. We got in and Dwayne said, you okay, man? And I was like, what do you mean? And then I realized I hadn't done this since one lap. We could have done this at the hotel where there's a mirror. I think we're good. Hey guys, Texas Dave here. I'm here at Buck Elastic. We're at the uh, 99th running of the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. You ever been to Pikes Peak before? No, I haven't. Wow, I have. A little bit, huh? Yeah. A couple times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's the one. That's what you did. Eleven times here. Uh, it's been six years though. I haven't How been here since. How many times did you actually finish though? Eight out of eleven. That's not bad. Yeah, I'm happy with it. It's a good track record. But uh, this time we're not we're not actually racing this this year. We're actually just kind of you're kind of showing me the ropes, I think. Yeah. Yokohama invited us up. So we're here supporting all our fellow team Yokohama drivers and um yeah, I'm seeing kind of what the evolution is of the mountain since last time I was here. I just want to pick people's brains. If if we are going to do this in 2022, uh I'm better prepared, you yeah. know, waking up at like what 2:30, 3 You wake up you wake up today to go racing tomorrow. Right. Well, it's just past 3 a.m. and we're here at Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. A lot of the teams are getting set up right now to run the top section of the hill. What's up, Tanner Fowl? How you doing? I'm How you brother. doing? I'm good. Hey, good morning. Great. So Tanner's in the GT4 class this year. Yeah, things awesome. This is the scariest part of the mountain for me, I think, the, the top. It is. Yeah. See you later, dude. Yeah, man. Have fun. I gotta come over here and introduce you guys to Jeff. <laughs> this is Jeff's work. He's pretty much king of the mountain around here. Tanner Fowles heading out. Post in the Tesla on Yokohama's is setting some of the fastest times on the mountain right now. You only got two pedals. All right. What? One go fast, one slow down. Oh. You got this. <laughs> it, it suits my brain capability. It's perfect. No, stop. No on that complicated stuff. The torque on that thing is insane. So Tanner just got done running uh, the top of the mountain. Practice. How was that? Uh, it was good. So when you first came back to the mountain, what were some of the things that you that you kind of like? I don't know goals or what you kind of wanted to achieve and and what things you wanted to kind of address and um, well first i wanted to try to beat travis's time okay well that's and, that's and the, cars, the cars are a little different then um no i wanted to learn relearn the mountain these and the porsche gt4s are perfect for that yeah they're strangely the fact that they're i mean you hate to say being a porsche that it's underpowered compared to the thousand horsepower and 500 horsepower yeah, cars yeah. out here but it is a momentum car up the hills 
and it does make it scary because there's so many turns that are almost full throttle yeah and yeah so you're, you're like, like flat out so it feels kind of weird right and if you if you don't take advantage of every mile an hour mid corner it yeah. costs you on the straightaways forever because yeah. it's a momentum car so rolling speed is key which makes memorization key um, which makes predictability key. So that's yeah. one nice thing about the Porsche yeah. and the Yokohamas is they're super predictable. Yep. The mental side of it, it for me is memorization. Like yeah. when I go up here, I took a rental car ride up here with Reese Millen and Greg Tracy and Paul Dahlenbach and between all of them they've got like 60 years of, of the history up here. And you know, they're like, oh, watch out for that little bump that, you know, you just want half a tire on that little bump and then that'll let you miss this one over here. And you're just like, hold on, is this a left or a right coming up? Oh, yeah. You know, I just want the basics. Yeah. You know? So the memorization that these guys have year after year is amazing. Anyway, it's a kick in the ass. It's an amazing mountain. Mm -hmm. You do feel like it's you against the mountain. Every single time somebody takes a, a picture of you on the start line, you're thinking, Jesus, I hope that's not like a freaking picture in the newspaper, you know, that it's like right yeah. before you run. It's, it's definitely a thought, you know what I mean? A mistake like, is easy to, you know, they say if you go off, a lot of these turns you have time to etch your name in the roll bar before you hit the ground. Right? Yeah. So it's, a, it's pretty awesome. That's, that confirms that that definitely is on the mind. No matter how good of a driver you are, up here at Pikes Peak is no joke. It's not a joke. Good to see you up here. Good to Bye. see you. We'll see you dude. Have fun. I'll be, uh, I'll be pointing my GoPro in your face probably for the rest of the week. Sweet. I hope you don't mind. Don't mind. Don't mind. We'll see you. Morning of day two. Sun's coming up. Everyone's about to get their runs in. Yesterday we spent all morning top of the hill Devil's Playground. We're going to do the bottom section today, which just so happens to be qualifying. Everyone qualifies on the bottom section of the hill. We got Di gone out in the turn 14. What up? Yeah, well, today's qualifying. <laughs> Have fun out there. Thank be you. fast, be safe. Thank you.
we got Travis's uh, quality Did you get it? Time. Yes. Nice. I love the fact that it's just about Travis's time. <laughs> well, you know it is, Travis and Bilko both. You know it is. So it's a 2201. Okay. I know he had a 22 something. Mm -hmm. Do you know what Travis's qualifying time was? To the 10th. That's all you got. <laughs> you and Bilko, that's all you care about is what Travis did. I think we got him. I don't know. We had an hourglass. <laughs> we got him. We got him. <laughs> Jeff knows he just doesn't want to say. <laughs> This thing boogies, dude. Dude, this thing likes party. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Did I get Woo! Yeah, triple turbo, triple turbo PDK. Sorry, it's triple turbo. Yeah, it's uh, the tiny one. It's a 26 millimeter. It's very, very tiny. It pulls at idle. It's, it, it creates some pressure. What the? F and uh, right, right up. And as soon as the first turbo gets uh, up to speed. We transfer everything to the second turbo and the third one is a big boy that just spools to the moon. That front end is just so iconic to me. the end of qualifying day three everyone's been through that's fast so when are you racing here yeah i saw your instagram post and i was like i guarantee you like start the clock now you'll either be racing here next year for the hundredth running yeah or the year after that's the plan awesome to see you brian Morning of the race, and there is a bear in the tree right there. We have bears, Larry Chan. This is what happens when uh, Bucky's show becomes a nature show, okay? So we got three bears up there, three, three of them. And, a, and another bear behind us. No, that's a Sasquatch, dude. Sasquatch. That's a Sasquatch. Sasquatch right yeah, there. That's not a bear. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there it is, the old Vashultz hill climb special. Get up on there. It's one of those cars that, like like any race car, you get up close and you're like, oh wow, that's, huh. But it goes so fast past you, you don't have, it doesn't matter what it looks like because you never see it. The one thing that sticks out to me, literally sticks out to me, is the fuel cell. Oh, have you gotten a shot of that? No. Oh, we gotta get that. So what is, what is this? Is this secret filming of the event and everything for you to come back next year or what? Pretty much. You wouldn't be here I'm without a reason. It, I'm disguising it as my, uh, social content but i'm really here to get inside your head yeah oh you're there <laughs> <laughs> oh wow what? i don't understand hang on no that don't add up someone stole our engine yeah. is this the short stroke block no yeah, i'm just right? kidding y'all got one of them that's a super engine you're missing the bottom half <laughs> yeah it's like it's like your engine right it's a little bit like a subaru the way that the engine is designed with the wet sump um, it's literally an integrated part of the chassis. So 
the wet sump doesn't sit on top of a standard uh, subframe that holds the suspension. The suspension and the subframe bolt to the engine. So literally, the engine is the lowest part of the car. It's actually quite an amazing feat of packaging. Did you engineer that? Or no, no, no. I would have if yeah. I could have, but yeah. no, it was all done by uh, M Sport in the UK. Okay, so Ford, M Sport Ford built this car. Okay, yeah. yeah. The top of the intake there is actually level with the top of the rotor. That's insane. What are you doing? I gotta go, brother. Uh, I, I, I was getting you no. a drink. Dude, I was wondering where that was. This is my car this year, your car next year, right? All right, it's all you, buddy. Ow! All right, Tanner, I want you to be fast, most off safe, but enjoy yourself. I will, Bucky. I'd like to see you in one of these next year. All right, no problem. No, do you want to get in here now? I don't know, he's feeling kind of warm. I feel good. I feel Damn fun. it. Ooh, Coming yeah. in spicy. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> What's up, baby? They bring all the celebrities oh, yeah. out for this race. Yeah. So tell me about it. So Pikes Peak, so you coming back next year behind the wheel? How do, you, how do you come here and say maybe? <laughs> we got Magnus Walker in the house. Enjoying the day. Yeah. See my boy Cam Ingram about to take off right there. Yeah. First time up the hill. I like that Bentley with the Subaru front engine mid. Uh, yeah, you mid see front that? Engine yeah. Motor. yeah, that's why it's going I built that front. motor. Well, that's why it's going so quick, I think. Yep. Yeah, job well done. Job yeah, I well taught done. that guy everything he knows, too, as far as driving. Everything he knows. And then he told me he taught Tanner Faust everything he knows. Yeah, and I think Tanner taught Travis Pastrana everything he knows. It's a small world. It's a, it's a, it's a circle. full circle. It's yeah. full circle. It's like a circle, Chuck. <laughs> Shake him, mate. Take it easy, man. All right. Now I know you got a ride up the mountain with Jeff Swartz and he may know a lot about the mountain, but I'm gonna give you my Cliffs notes, okay? Are you ready? Okay. You know what, first thing you need to know. <laughs> first thing you need to know is I need you to give it 115%, okay? All right, we're starting down here, okay? First thing you know is when you get to eight mile pit road, stay on the road or you can die, okay? When you get up to nine mile, is you stay on the road or you can die. Now, engineers, if you don't stay on the road, you can die. Okay, coming up through Bound Bush, coming into 11 Mile, right, up in Gilly's Corner. If you don't stay on the road, you can die. Okay, getting up from there, you're coming through Glen Cove, George's Corner, up into Cove Creek. Now, if you don't stay on the road coming into Elk Park, you can die. Okay, coming up from Elk Park, you get the double cut. Now, that's not one, but two different cuts, both of which, if you don't stay on the road, you can die. Okay, coming up from double cut, we're coming into the start of the third leg. Now, the whole third leg, you can die. Okay, so if you don't stay on the track, you're gonna die here, 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 and even here, okay? You got that? Now, show me on the track, where can you die? That's exactly correct, that's exactly correct. Fantastic, see you next year. <laughs> Pro tip for a rookie, Pike Speak. I've never driven Pike Speak, but I've shot it many times. Pro tip, just make it up, please. <laughs> It's a big mountain. Yeah, she is. A good week. It's been a really good week. You reckon we'd come back? I think so. You reckon we'd have some cars to drive? I don't know, will we? <laughs> that was good times. 
That was good to come back to the old peak after it five, was. six years. Yeah, how'd it feel? Wild. Yeah, it's fun. Was... See all the old homies? Uh, daydream about what we're gonna do next year. Lots of high fives, lots of good race cars. Yeah. Sierra car made it to the top again. Yeah, uh, that was good. Old John McInnes. John McGinnis, yeah, yeah, he did good there. Yeah, he did. Oh, yeah, the car yeah. was great all the way up. Yep. Yeah, so Tanner <laughs> Faust, he out qualified Travis I've Pastrana, the highlight of his weekend. Yeah, but then it was a shortened race, so we couldn't yeah. actually get the record. <laughs> uh, good talk, good talk. Yep. Well, see you next year. Yep, see you next year, guys. 2022, here we come. We're accepting sponsorship applications now.